We have ourselves a full bolt-on 2008 Mustang GT. And one of the things that really gets you is having all of the bolt-ons, but not all the power. If you guys have watched my really, really old video, I made 315 horsepower to the wheel, which is definitely way under what this car really should be made. For the past three years, I have had Bama Performance tuning my car. I'm gonna make a separate video all about Bama Performance just because I've been rocking them for three years, but today we're gonna be making a difference because because I should be making around 350 to the wheel. I have been in the search for a either a custom dyno tune or a Lidl tune, which is this guy in Venezuela. His name is Manuel, and he is an expert with these three valves in particular. The number one best tuner for a three valve engine is a Lidl tune. Go ahead and look anywhere all over the forms, all over my videos. Everybody recommends Lidl, and so I hit him up and we are going with a Lido tune. Custom Dino tune, I did not want to go with because it was 800 bucks minimum at the best San Diego Mustang Dino shop. And currently I don't have that money. I'm saving up for boost. So I messaged Lido and let's get right into the video. All right, so he just replied back to me and this was his first response. He wants all of your modifications so that he could go ahead and start working. And then he has the pricing and conditions which you have to go ahead and view just everything. I'm not going to read through everything. You could pause through the video if you want to read what he sent. But let's just go ahead and scroll all the way towards the bottom. And then here's all of my performance mods if you guys want to go ahead and view that. And then here's the pricing if you guys are interested. For bolt-ons, it's only $100, which is super cheap. And then for cams, which is what I have, it's $150. And boost, that's not bad at all. 300 bucks for boost. Usually it's like 500 plus, but he does it for 300. So these prices are awesome. Again, this is not free tunes for life so after this uh, revisions are a little bit more i'm not entirely sure how much they are all right and then he got back to me so he sent me a tune which i have to go ahead and it's attached all the way at the bottom and this is where you download the device update which is the software that you load onto your tuner it, it's very similar to the one that bama performance uses but not exactly the same exact thing very easy to download takes like five minutes and then this is just a how to very easy to go ahead and do and then this is the live link gen 2 which is the software that you're going to be running to data log which is a very very small file and very easy to use again this is everything that we have and then the data logs are all the way at the bottom and it looks like the first thing he needs is just a idle log maybe a cold star probably send him a cold start and then we should be good. And if you guys want to go ahead and get a Lidl tune, that is his email. Just send him an email and he'll get back to you pretty fast. His name is Manuel and uh, here's the information. I'll also link it down in the description. I've never data logged in my life. Lidl just sent me the tune. He told me to load it on. I do have it on my tuner right here. I basically have to connect my computer to the tuner and then the tuner to the car. And then hopefully, everything works out. We need to go ahead and run a cold start and then a idle and then whatever else comes up. So wish me luck. No more kick-ass bald eagles. Let's go for the Lidl tune. So the new tune is in. So going to load up what Lido wants us to go ahead and load up. And I think we are now data logging. Let's get this bad boy running. So I want to start data logging. I think it's going. Now let's fire her up. I don't know what any of this means. Look how low my idol is. Look at the chop. I don't know if it's good, but it's so much slower. This is exactly what I wanted. Hand pump way better. The great thing about Lido is he gets back to me very, very quick. I just sent him the data logs this morning and a couple of hours he's already sending me a new one. So I have to get a new data log of just a 10 minute drive around and just to do normal driving as well as to get a wide open throttle pull in third gear from 2000 RPM to 6500. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. But first, I do want to go ahead and show you guys 
how sick the new idol is. So he set it at 760, which is a lot lower than what I had it at. It was that 1,000 that I was sitting at. Words cannot describe how happy I am for a slower chop. This is how camshafts should sound like. The base tune that he has in my car is so smooth. already better than Bamel performance. I still have a little bit of pops actually. I still got them. They're just not as intense. The car shakes a lot more, which I love so much. I love feeling the rumble beneath my seat. Alright, so here's the third third gear pull. data logging of the full report here just daily drove 10 minutes I also got the 2000 to 6500 rpm pull in there I just ended it gonna email him and see exactly what he said so Lito just sent me the final revisions and now I'm gonna go ahead and load on the final tune I did ask him what I should expect how much horsepower how much torque I should be expecting and he said 340 <clears throat> And he said maybe even more on a happier dyno. I don't know what he means by a happier dyno. Maybe a Mustang dyno. He did mention 340 horsepower, which is 25 more horsepower than the Bama performance. So enough talking. Let's go ahead and load this tune on. Take it out for a spin. We do have to data log a 10 to 15 minute daily drive and then the 2000 to 6500 rpm that shouldn't be too long only about 10 to 15 minute drive sending him back the results he said that he was super close on the previous ones he's almost there he says that it's looking really really good he says that he just needs one last data log with the new tune and then we should be rocking and rolling with 340 to the wheel and over 400 to the crate. Lido is a step by step instructor. He makes things so easy. Like this full process was the easiest. He was very thorough with everything. I love his communication. He replies really fast, which is a lot faster than Batman performance, that's for sure. And he speaks perfect English, even though he lives in Venezuela where it's a Spanish speaking only. So go ahead and load up the tune right now and let's get rocking and rolling. takes about two minutes or so for the total load on the tune I have the 91 goes kick ass bald eagles which I need to take off those are the bad performance Lido is the tune one tune two is the revision hopefully this tune two is correct <music> all right we are finally done turn key off click this guy done so we're gonna start up the car Love my new pull start. It does not fluctuate. It does not act crazy. It's at a consistent idle. 750. I, I asked him if we could go slower. He said no without me messing up my oil pump gears or my oil something. So the lowest I could put the chop at is 750. But the cold start is 500 times better than Bama performance. It's smooth, it's consistent. That boy just sounds so good with the slow chop. I just noticed right now, I asked him to permanently take down traction control and he did just that. I just started up the car, did not touch this button and he permanently took it down so I don't have to manually do it. And we always have full power at all times. So I'm giving you guys the first, sorry about the camera angle. This is like the only camera angle where you guys are not gonna slip on me. I'm gonna give you my first reactions of the second revision. I'm probably gonna make a second video of my reaction of full throttle. I, I, I may be sounding like I'm overreacting, but you guys don't know I've driven Bama for three years. 
and I've never driven something so smooth in my life. Even that little hole that I did, it was so smooth. The RPMs flow so well, it sounds great. It feels like I'm in another brand new car. in this video you guys gonna have to stay tuned for the next video this baby pulls sorry guys I am to me this is a new car I've never felt Sally feel so great and I'm not just saying that I am being telling you the honest truth I think he got it this one I really do think he got it in this too the data log is going there the car is finally warm video with wide open throttle bald eagles flying everywhere <laughs>